Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to be featuring 5 incredible Minecraft mods that completely change your gameplay. All the download links for these mods will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and I hope you enjoyed this video. For the first mod, we have Biome Makeover. This mod improves and enhances Minecraft's biomes. As of the current latest version, only 4 biomes have been improved so far, and that includes the mushroom fields, the badlands, swamps, and dark forests. Future updates will give makeovers to other biomes. The latest update brings improvements to the dark forest. Woodland mansions are completely redesigned with more loot and enemies. Owls have been added as tameable pets, you can farm the plant-animal hybrid rootlings, and discover the new curse enchanting feature. There are large ancient oak trees towering over the roof forest that have a darker wood than dark oak. You will also find new plants such as ivy, itching ivy, moth blossoms, foxgloves, black thistle, and wild mushrooms. Some more world generation updates include mesmerite spikes, illunite crystals, and tapestries which can be found in woodland mansions. Another mob besides the owl and rootlings include moths. Some new items added include moth scales dropped by moths, bulbous roots, potion of the nocturnal which stops phantoms from spawning on you, crude cladding, clouded armor, and finally an enchanted totem of undying which is incredibly rare and uncraftable. As for the other biomes, the mushroom fields were updated to include larger cave structures layered with mycelium and includes mushrooms of all sizes. New flora and bioluminescent mushrooms are added, as well as a new tree type called the Blighted Balsa. Also, new building blocks have been added to expand on block options. You will also come across glowfish within the waters. As for the Badlands biome, new cactus variants, tumbleweeds, ghost towns, and bandits are added. Near riverbanks or bodies of water, you can find mineral-rich soil called pay dirt that can be dug up for some potential riches like gold nuggets or other ores. There are also large bone fragments and fossils found above ground scattered across the barren wastes. A new mob called the Scuttler can be seen rarely throughout this biome, usually snacking on barrel cacti which will drop pink petals. And with this biome, new terracotta bricks are added. Finally, we have the improvement of the swamp biome. It adds new plants, animals, structures, and more including plenty of new foliage, a variety of new mobs, and a witch haggling system. Oak trees in this biome are replaced by willow trees and swamp cypress. There are also reeds and cattails added to give the swamp a true swamp biome feeling. Water lilies can also be found with bright magenta lotus on top of them. The mobs added in this biome include the lightning bug which you can capture in a bottle, the decayed, and haggles which are witches that have a quest-like system. By wearing a witch hat, it will prevent witches from being hostile to you. There have also been rumors of a mini bus type monster that spawns only in moonlight. This next mod is called Naturalist. It's a truly immersive animal mod where animals interact with each other realistically. Naturalist adds more animals to the game that behave as they do in real life. There is a working food chain, sleep cycle, and tons of other fun behaviors giving each animal a personality of its own. In swamps and mangrove swamps, we have many animals that include alligators that aggressively defend their eggs, bass that swim around murky waters, catfish that are larger and take up space from the bass, ducks that waddle around the swamps, dragonflies that like coarse fruit, lizards that are loyal when fed their favorite food, and tortoises that are famous for their hard shells. In woodlands, such as forests and grassy biomes, we have bears that are gentle predators and dislike anyone going near their cubs besides deer, birds that fly around the treetops, butterflies looking for flowers and crops to pollinate, caterpillars that spawn by breeding butterflies, deer that run around and avoid bears, fireflies that light up at night, snails that dislike being jumped on and may turn hostile, 
and lastly snakes that are lower forest predators who consume smaller animals. And finally, in dry lands such as savannas and deserts, we have lions who are the rulers and hunt mobs at night, giraffes who are gentle giants, elephants who mind their own business but fight when attacked, hippos that tend to stay near the water but are always hungry, therefore they turn hostile, rhinos who are generally docile unless they have a baby with them, vultures who fly around and attack zombies at night, zebras that are the savannas equivalent of horses, and boars that are neutral animals who replace pigs in savanna biomes. Next, we have all the creatures. This mod adds a new mob known as the Moss Walker that spawns in lush caves. You can breed Moss Walkers with a brand new item called Moss with Wheat. You can also craft new mossy bricks with moss blocks. Mossy stairs, slabs, walls, and horse armor can also be crafted. This next mod is called Towns and Towers. This mod aims to expand upon the 1.14 update with new villages, pillager outposts, and even brand new ships. The structures are more detailed than their vanilla counterparts, but they still fit seamlessly into the world. Not only that, but many are inspired by real-life buildings or architectural styles, giving them a fresh new feel. There are over 50 structures added by this mod so far. There is one secret structure, 28 outposts, and 7 of them are exclusives. 3 ships and ocean structures, and lastly, 24 villages and 8 of them are exclusives. And for the last mod of this video, we have Plus the End. This mod makes the end more interesting by adding new entities, trees, blocks, and plants. The mobs added include the Ender Skeletons to protect treasures and towers, the Enderfly that is dangerous in groups, fake young chorus flower that is not naturally spawned but has a chance to spawn if you destroy young chorus flowers, and finally, the Ender Guardian. Thank <laughs> you.